Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is BT Plays here and today we are on the Crew 2 to test out the Plymouth Roadrunner Laverde Edition. Um, this vehicle is another story vehicle and it came, I think it was the highs and lows story. I think you need to complete this. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it, shall we? Um, it is a low rider, as you can probably tell by not only the livery but the look of the vehicle as well it is a low rider so let's get into the customization of this vehicle and as you can see there is no customization because it is an addition vehicle we know the process and stuff by now we know that if it is an addition vehicle or a vehicle that happens to come up out of a summit or a story or something you just can't customize it but we can change the livery and a vanity item so let's just have a look at some of the liveries that we got the flames look nice the plain black does look quite nice as well oh and the black and red yes these are some nice liveries i will say that obviously um liveries on low riders are actually i actually find them really nice like they're just out of the ordinary and completely wacky but i like them um, I'm actually gonna go f with where was it this one I think it was that one I like that one I'm gonna put this one on that is very nice switch it up from the original and obviously you can change the vanity items if you wish to as well but let's get into the performance of this vehicle as you can see it is a street racing vehicle with a base performance level of 122 so it has a top speed of 124 miles per hour and 390 horsepower. So let's put on some 280 parts. Uh, put some, some gold parts on because why not um, give this vehicle the best treatment possible. And see what this vehicle looks like with all 280 parts on. So as you can see 280 parts are now on and it has a top speed of 226 miles per hour with 862 horsepower 0 to 60 in 2.47 seconds that is pretty fast for a low rider a quarter mile in 9.77 seconds and brake distance 60 to 0 is um, 18.15 yards so let's test out this vehicle and um, I will see you at an event in a second LA um, and I forgot to record last time so I'm doing this a couple days late <laughs> um, because I was going to edit this video and then I realized that there was no race so I have to do this all again but it's fine um, because it's always good to give the vehicle a second chance but um, yeah this isn't my first time doing this this is my second time doing this uh, I just looked over it I was like there's no footage here of me doing the race so hopefully this does record well if you see this then it's recorded but let's actually get into testing this vehicle again shall we and um, I remember last time I didn't know how to use the hydraulics of this vehicle uh, but now I know how to I, with the uh, the right stick I would actually show you when we're on a straight or can you not do it when you're going fast? I don't think you can do it when you're driving fast, but yeah, I think it is the right stick. Or is it the left stick? It's the left stick. Um, yeah, that's how much I barely remember. It was the left stick. If you use the left stick uh, to go up or down, then it goes up or down, obviously. Um, but this, yeah, this vehicle, I mean, we're only here in LA because low rider culture is a big thing in LA. Um, well, on, on the whole, the West Coast anyway and obviously many other parts in America but mainly on the west coast but this vehicle doesn't feel nice it doesn't feel great it doesn't feel you know like your Porsches and stuff like that it just doesn't really feel good in any street racing event I mean look the brakes are just not great uh, obviously this vehicle does come with a story well no it comes you have to complete the story to get this vehicle that's what I meant to say so it's pretty much free but do you really want to go through the effort of getting this vehicle I mean 
if you like low riders, then I see a point. But in terms of actually using the vehicle for events, uh, for street racing events, and actually using it to um, you know make money and stuff like that, then I mean it's not great. Just by the turning, and it's not really that fast either. So um, that event showed us what out what I thought of the vehicle. It wasn't anything special it wasn't anything great um i definitely wouldn't say it's the worst vehicle i've used i've used worse but it isn't good it is very average um so i'm going to give you my final verdict now so obviously like i said it is a free vehicle you just need to invest your time into getting this vehicle and customization was there any customization there wasn't was there there was no customization, there was only uh, livery changes and vanity items. So the performance of the vehicle, there are a million better cars out there in the street racing category. And it just didn't feel great, it just wasn't fast, it didn't, like the brakes weren't good, it couldn't turn. Everything you want in a street racing vehicle, it could not do. So for that, I'm going to give this vehicle a five out of ten yeah, five out of ten because I can't give it any higher than that I don't think I mean it is a free vehicle so I can't really give it any less than that either but five out of ten very average um, definitely probably most likely would not use this vehicle again in the future and it's pretty much only good if you do like yourself a, a low rider in the game because it does come with the hydraulics but for me I don't care that much so yeah a five out of ten but if you have used this vehicle, don't forget to tell me what you think of it down below in the comment section. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.